dear friends. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Do you know what time it is? It is time for us to do a flip through and a review and of course a little mini reading um, of this beautiful deck. This is the new deck by V11 Crystals or V11 Tarot. Um, and this is called the Salem Switch or Salem Sisters. So if I know if you are a fan of Hocus Pocus. You will most likely enjoy this deck. If you're a Halloween fan like I am too, you can definitely enjoy this. I'm like I've been having a lot of fun playing with it. Um so yeah, <laughs> let's get to it, shall we? Alright. I will so we have drum set. So it's like I love this because we do have the Salem sisters. You actually see them here. Um and this is the Hocus Pocus sisters uh drum set. So we have visual and then drum set so blowing off steam skill and hobby so i like this because it's like it's not your traditional thing it's kind of a little bit different you know zombie so ex-lover helpful nice guy <laughs> which i actually like that nice guy zombie well, sometimes it can be so basically you see it's like it has like um i could even totally see this as using and this is kind of hopefully you'll like this idea of me using this also like to create like plot stories right this is just kind of really cool i could totally see this as um something for plotting uh a right as a writing tool so anyway so love interests right so we have three different descriptions there and i love the all the colors i'm just gonna go for it though <laughs> grass trainers i like this one a lot cottage Moths, freedom, cauldron, okay. Salem, no. Come circle. I must be like friendship circle. Cat, yes. I have police officer. Sewer, yeah. So you see, like it's places, people, different qualities. Master, master and his wife. Ooh, scary. <laughs> Three hundred years. Oh, look at that like this i really like this i don't because it's not a traditional it's not traditional and i love that it's not traditional um and it's really all if you actually can see it it's all kind of based on the on the movie too so that's beautiful here because <laughs> if you actually know the story of the the hocus pocus i, I highly recommend you watch it if you haven't <laughs> but, uh, we have yeah, look at this. Look. look at this. Oh, hello, Eve. Broomstick swap and vacuum. <laughs> Life potion, yes. Look at that. Dancing spell. Bus driver. <laughs> Flame candle. Oh, full moon. Uh, see, I really like think this is really cool. Count the span. Bounce people. <laughs> Little sister, sisterhood right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Colonial costume party. That's tail. Join the Ooh, closet. Hiding hollowed crown. Look at that stone statue. Execution. Black purple hair. Beautiful. Moonbox. Oh, wow. Go star. And we have bullies. We have lullaby, we have 90s, which is totally, yeah, right here, and then phone number. Yeah, I really, like, I'm going to tell you, like, I can, I can see myself using this as, uh, like, for writing prompts. I really like this. It could be a really cool short story that could be made, or just a longer story. So, it does shuffle really well, as all V11 Crystal and V11 Tarot's card does. Um... Yeah, it just I I feel like I can blend this with other stuff. I'm not sure which one yet, but I you know like I like to blend the eleven crystals or little tarot decks a lot. So yeah. So let's actually go ahead and um see what what it tells us. So collective for the collective of good one, give me something beautiful messages that we can do for collective good one. See what they need to hear right now, yeah. I'm going to do, I'm going to do one, and collective of group two, just here right now, okay, these two, I was going to do two cards anyways for everybody, but these ones wanted to come together, and what's for collective of group three's message, I need to hear right now, 
I'm gonna just collect a bunch of this. I need to get right now. Collect collective. Three messes with the ATM. Okay. I'm gonna actually have some tarot here, so I'm gonna flip on top. So give me little toppers. The collective of group one. This one wants to come out. King of Swords. Okay. Collective of group two. Okay. Queen of Cups. Oh, so lots of people. The collective of group three. Oh, what? This is a different one. I thought it was going to be, an, I for sure thought it was going to be another person, but no. Okay. So let me actually show it to you. Let's take a good look. Sorry that there's a little glare. So this is group one, this is group two, and this is group three. So let's take a deep breath in. Close our eyes. Now, as we exhale and open our eyes, choose whichever pile draws you to it. All right, let's start with group one. I'm just gonna keep going here. <laughs> so let's do this and move them just a little bit. Okay, so we have the King of Swords. I actually just wanna see what, we have the closet, watch it. And we have the dance bell, so. Huh, I'm almost feeling like here. <laughs> oh, I actually feel like there's a sense of like, you're hiding, like, or the message is like, some sort of you're hiding like your fun part or you've been ignoring and maybe that's what I'm saying be maybe, maybe you're ignoring your fun part and I feel like you're being called out because it's like the king of swords is very logical very like you know that and that and that's like very serious I feel like <laughs> and it feels like you've been hiding this part like the dancing which is like you know like adult party but it's almost just a sense of like fun and excitement so what I'm seeing here is like you gotta you know maybe take the time out instead of being all super serious and how fun is what I'm seeing here stop hiding what your desires are which is like oh, coming fun having fun so I feel like that's a little gentle reminder here that's really fun I like this <laughs> all right let's see group two let's see what you have so queen of cups all right let's see what other stuff hollow seeds and veil and sexual <laughs> all right my friends Maybe, maybe you and group one will get together. But Queen of Cups, it's all about emotions. It's also, I feel like, with this um, Hallow's Eve connecting to your, like, psychic abilities coming through as well. Um, and with the sexual innuendo, I almost feel like, um, I'm actually going to say the, the, the sexual power, the sexual, um, how do I say it? Yeah, it is like the power, but it, it's kind of harnessing this this ability of yours connect connecting to the power here like you know almost feels like for some of you i'm gonna say it's sort of like you're awakening to your powers or not even awakening but they're being highlighted there's a thinner layer so you're able to see more and i feel like their psychic abilities um whatever they are with your intuition let's call it your intuition is very strong um and i feel like that is also something connected to this. Um, so your like your base chakra is what I would say. Your first and second chakra. Um, so listening to it, like if you're feeling like you know, it's sort of gonna help you in your power. If you need to like, if you want sexy times, go for it. That's what I'm seeing here, <laughs> and that's what I'm seeing here. Um, but also like it feels like connecting to your intuition very strong 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 intuition here um i also feel like for some of you um past ancestors are also coming through here as well and you can feel them so hmm. oh for some of you i actually want to say though i got that so maybe in halloween's you might be meeting somebody who is you know <laughs> believe that with a little clicking of the tongue and that's pretty much what we're gonna say so we have six of wands some sort of victory coming through let's see townspeople okay i love interest all right so for some of you what i'm seeing here and this is a very interesting message is that like um almost feels like you have overcome whatever obstacles it is and this love interest i've actually been using it as could be like in terms of love like so you may have overcome some sort of like uh, energy where people are like no or like was blocking your love interest or your love from coming through or if if it's not love in terms of romantic love whatever it is that you know like maybe you had um 
some sort of project or something where it was being blocked by others and I feel like you're gonna actually fulfill it like it's gonna you're gonna win here that's the victory of the six of wands right so whatever it is this love interest is whether it's actual romantic love somebody or whether it's like a project or something even if something was blocking it and you're some you're gonna overcome it and you're that's going to be the victory coming through. So I hope you like this. Um, and more information, you will actually see more information about this deck. Um, I believe it has 53 cards. So I will put that up there. No. <laughs> I should have done a little more research, but I just love this. So highly recommend um, for any of you who are looking for fun decks for the Halloween, right? And for any time of the year. Or if you want, like I'm going to do, I'm going to be using this for a writing tool. Go right ahead and, and highly recommend it. Love it. Love, 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 love it. Like I love, love you, you know I love V-Love and Crystal and we love and Tarot um, decks. So hope you like it. Thank you so much for being here. I am sending you so much love, so much light. Until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friends.